Could this be the next generation Ranger global platform? Let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel again today. So, been uh, scoping on the internet um, yesterday and I've seen those couple of photos getting around on that uh, Wheels website for that new Ranger, possible 2021. It looks super cool. Um, it has to be a Ford because like you look at that grill and it's, it's so much like the Super Duties, the new ones um, coming out for 2019. Um, the styling, the side badges and everything, they're very much Super Duty. Um, I love, I don't know if they're black headlights, but they look like they've been uh, tinted or blacked out on the front there. Um, it, to, to me, it looks like it could be a Raptor because if you look at the rear um, tub, it's really pushed out and flared out. The front fenders are also really, really wide. So it could be a Ranger Raptor. My thoughts are, guys, on this, if this picture is of the next generation 2021 Ranger Raptor, it most looks like the styling has come from Australia because most of the US trucks always have that split body line between the front bumper and the, the front grille and everything. They always have, that, they always have a, either a steel bumper and whatever. And if you look at this one, it flows seamlessly down through into the front bumper and that's very common in Australia and on the Australian um, uh, uh, trucks and utes and things. So this could be an Australian designed new Ford Ranger um, for a global platform, which would be absolutely awesome because that means that we'll get all the accessories that the US market produces. But I am super excited to see what uh, Ford has in store for the next uh, generation Ranger. Um, pretty much all the platforms, I can't wait to see each one, the XL, XLT, Wild Track, and Raptor. So hopefully the uh, next Ranger Raptor comes out with the uh, next generation Fox Shocks. So the um, all the electronic controlled Fox Shocks. Um, I think that would be really cool. I just hope that um, Ford does a lot more styling with the, the interior and stuff for accessories. I do, however, hope that the uh, the cab and the overall size of the truck is slightly bigger than the current Ranger. Um, probably not as big as the F-150, but if it was somewhere like smashed right in between our current version and the F-150 as in cab size and all that, I think that would be absolutely awesome. Just to have a bit, bit more room in the cab, and um, a bit more space. More storage is a big thing that Ford needs to work on um, because the storage inside the current generation, uh, both Ranger and Raptor versions in Australia, the storage sucks. Yes, they've got a storage compartment under the rear seat, but there's just literally no storage inside the cabin anywhere. And I don't really like the center console through the, new, uh, the current Ranger or the dash, so. Hopefully that's something that they change up. And when I talk about the dash guys, I mean, I want more flat surfaces to mount accessories, switches and things like that. Or even better, if Ford was to go and put the auxiliary switch systems as the same as the, uh, the F-150 does, which is up here next to your sunglass holder. I really wish that Ford would do that for the next generation Ranger, both Ranger and Raptor. Um, regardless of what platform you buy, you get those auxiliary switches to uh, hook up directly to that for lights, um, compressors, um, all sorts of aftermarket accessories that you can just plug and play and you don't have to go to an auto electrician and get all that stuff fitted. Um, I really think that'd be a, a really good bonus for the next generation Raptor to have more accessibility with stuff like that um, and uh, ease of use. As far as the styling of this truck, I really like it. Um, I really like the front grill um, just from the photos. I really like um, the side paneling. The cab kind of looks a little bit too small for the vehicle. I think it should be a little bit bigger um, just for the front of the vehicle and the rear of the vehicle. But like I said, this could be a Raptor. So that could be why that front end is does look wider than the body. Um, 
which is really cool. So hopefully it is a the next generation um, Raptor and Ford are in the works and all these uh, concept drawings keep getting leaked um, as they always do. So it just uh, fuels the fire for all of us getting keen to see what the next generation has in store. But in saying that, when you look at the grill, it doesn't have the Ford, the Ford written across the grill. And I really hope that Ford keeps that on the next generation Raptor because I really like that. So that maybe it is, maybe it isn't a Raptor now that I think about it and I actually look at that that grill. Um, or Ford's just trying to confuse us, <laughs> which is what a lot of car manufacturers do. Maybe they put a standard grill on the Raptor and just throw them curveballs. So maybe maybe that's why. But um, yeah, I really hope that Ford keeps that that big bold Ford grill on the next generation trucks, even the standard Ranger. Um, I hope that uh, that Ford does something nice with Ford written across the front. Maybe not to the extent of the Raptor, because that's kind of like a a, new, a unique thing for the Raptor to have that big black Ford across the front. So anyway, we can only just wait and see. Now as in power plants, I really hope that Ford steps up and gives us a petrol version. I really hope the next generation uh, Ranger comes with um, a higher output diesel engine and also a higher output petrol engine. Because if the uh, if we had a, had an option to either go with the EcoBoost V6 in the uh, our current generation uh, Raptor, we definitely would have gone that route. Um, just for the fun factor, a Ford, Ford Performance vehicle needs that fun factor, and that's what it's all about. You buy a Ford Performance vehicle for the engine, the styling, the suspension, and all that sort of stuff. The interior, it's 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 a it's a semi race bred machine is what you're looking to buy um, and you want that experience and unfortunately Ford on this current generation Ranger just dropped the ball on this two litre engine. They really should have given the given the consumer two options. I know they were only testing the waters with this first generation uh, Ranger but I really think they could have stepped up with the motor and not gone to such a small uh, like two litre, two litre motor. Um, Yes, like we don't get us, don't get me wrong. We absolutely love our Ranger Raptor, but at the end of the day, if we would have had that option, we would have definitely gone for the bigger motor, just for the fun factor that it would have brought um, to the truck off roading and that, and also like street performance. So that's just a down downfall that Ford did on this current generation. But we can only pray with these new leaked photos that the next generation could possibly have a bigger power plant or even two power plants, one diesel high output and one also petrol high output. Just give people the option. Um, that's that's all I think the Australian consumers are asking for is just give us an option um, and we can we can pick and choose between either a diesel or a petrol version. So, so coming down to it guys, some of the things I'd like to see on the next generation Ranger Raptor would obviously be the engines like I just mentioned. I'd love to see the new uh, Fox uh, 3.0 shocks um, they're the electronically valved controlled ones and I'd also love to see more more styling in the cab I'd like to see all the interior changed more flat paneling it's just it's it's more muscular um, and a, a different set of console um, just a real user-friendly layout Maybe a miniature version of what the F-250s and the Super Duty series run would be really cool. They've got way more storage, um, and just I like the layout. It's it's very flat. You can mount accessories easy, um, and it just it, the overall aesthetics of the dash just look way better um, than the current generation. It's just very curvy, and and I'm really not into that. So hopefully, there's some of the points that Ford can. Um, get on the next generation Ranger and we can uh, yeah we can all get excited to see what else um, gets leaked in the media anyway guys I'm off back to work so I'll um, leave you guys with a couple of pictures that I found on the wheels website um, for that possible next generation Ranger that shall be coming in 2021 so drop a comment below like this video subscribe all that good stuff let me know in the comments what you guys think the next generation Ranger and Ranger Raptor should have and whether it should be a global platform. Righto guys, I'll see you on the next one. Catches.